and then you will find amazing things you will find amazing things in this connection of course they might sound blasphemy for the uh, religious people of today but you will find amazing things in in connection with the holy prophet alayhi salatu wassalam what was the first message that he gave yani there should be an order and a system in the divine wisdom the divine wisdom cannot be irrational disorderly meaningless it can't be so the messages which came from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they came in a logical sequence uh, based on the highest wisdom what was the first message which came iqra iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم five short verses dealing with two things psychology of the quest for knowledge and technique of the quest for knowledge nothing else neither dealing with salat nor with shom nor with zakat nor with hajj nor, nor with anything else the first message came for ilm and here in this first message the message was given to the muslims that the function of this ummah will be to unearth all treasures of knowledge which were buried in the different civilizations of the world to unearth them alladhi allama bil qalam allama al insana ma lam yalam reference is right there to unearth them to preserve them classify them correct them and advance the cause of knowledge that is the function of this community laid down in the first message which came of course now this community is a community of illiterates in pakistan the, the percentage of illiterate muslims is 85 85 out of every 100 are illiterate absolutely illiterate and those 15% who are literate educated among them might be one or two percent because to be literate is one thing to be educated is is another thing this is one of the most advanced muslim communities of the world mind you pakistan it is one of the most advanced so if dr ansari comes forward and says this is the message of the holy prophet muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam people say what nonsense are you talking although it is based on truth why did allah subhanahu wa taala mention in the first message about the psychology of quest for knowledge and technique of quest for knowledge why there must be some meaning in it definitely the foundations of that mission of this umma were being laid down that this umma its basis is ilm at another place in the holy quran we are told yarfa illahu alladhina amanu minkum wal ladhina utu al ilma darajat allah subhanahu wa taala will elevate in rank will confer honor on those communities who cultivate faith and cultivate knowledge to higher and higher ranks not only iman as we do nowadays papa tumne panch dafa namaz masjid mein padhi aaj un kaha padhi yani theek hai tumhara iman that's very good i mean say that is obligatory we should come to the masjid and pray here the word is spoken by the quran is al ilm what is the meaning of al ilm all knowledge not only knowledge of a few books books in fiqh or hadith or tafsir all knowledge whether knowledge of mathematics or physics or chemistry or astronomy or medicine or anything all knowledge al ilm ilmuddin words are not ilmuddini theological knowledge no that has not been mentioned anywhere in the quran all knowledge cultivation of all knowledge that is ibadah that is the mission of this umma and i may go on in this direction nobody among the founders of 
different faiths that are found in the world. Nobody among them has said this, what the Holy Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam has said. Fadlu al-alimi ala al-abidi ka fadli ala adnaakum. The superiority of a person who pursues knowledge over a person who remains engaged in devotional exercises like, na, like Nawafil and so on. He says, superiority of the pursuer of knowledge over this person of who is a devotee, who does devotional worship, is like my superiority over the meanest among you. Allahu Akbar. Here is a teacher of religion. <laughs> 